Hi guys, and welcome back to Switch Up. The man has returned from his ailments, <laughs> which is about yeah, <laughs> which is good news. And today we're going to look at ten games that are worth picking up right now on the Cyber Monday sale. We'll also be talking about a couple of games that you should definitely avoid after the ones that you should definitely pick up. The sale ends very soon, so these are 10 games to pick up before it ends, and then, as Mark says, we'll just have a general chat about some of the games we picked up maybe in the sales. Lovely. Okay, so the first game, or two games really, that you should potentially pick up are the old Telltale titles, the Batman ones. So these are called the Tell Batman the Telltale series, yes. which is a bit ironic. Now these follow a very familiar Telltale format, but I think they're only about, what, three dollars? The first one is based on um, Bruce Wayne more so than Batman, yeah. actually, which is quite an interesting take. And there's a, a scandal around his late parents oh, okay. and their potential involvement with the Mafia. Mm -hmm. So Bruce Wayne has to try and clear their name, or, or not, as it may well turn out to be. But yeah, as you say, very much the standard Telltale formula, but very good games, really worth picking up. Lovely. Red's in the same stitch. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. to have so much fun. Right, the next one then is uh, Super Bomberman R, which is 75% off and has a couple of days left to go on it. But it's just, um, it's had a, a few bits added to it. And for that price, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a, it's a fun party game, isn't it? Definitely. I think that sale ends on the 4th, so definitely one to check out. It's also had, actually, because um, it's got a story mode, which is not the most fun in the world, but at least it's got some single-player content. And I think they added a couple of extra levels, or at least one extra level, or weld to that as well. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's definitely worth picking up now. That's a bargain, isn't it? Yeah. Fair play. But wait! Tons more Konami characters will be playable! Choose your favorite character and dominate the battle! Okay, let's do this! See these legendary soldiers battle it out with the Bomberman! And I'm Xavier Woods. It's professional. All right, so my next pick then has got to be Earthlock, which is a really interesting game because of the way it was developed, wasn't mm, it? Yeah. They had a bit of a drama whereby they released it, but it wasn't in the state that they wanted. That's right. Did they not? Am I right in saying they rebuilt it completely? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they took it back to the drawing board. Mm. They brought it back. It's obviously inspired by the likes of Final Fantasy VII and things like that, but they just weren't happy with it. So they mm. took it back to the drawing board reworked on the, the whole game and then put it out again and then it did increase its scores by about 15 to 20 percent across yeah. the board bringing it up into i think it's about 80 percent on metacritic mm. but this is uh at the moment about five dollars ninety yeah. something like that yeah. and reduced from thirty dollars so but just i mean fair play to them for yeah. putting the effort in to do that how often it's do you very see unusual that? isn't Absolutely, it yeah. there's some real pride there which yeah. is nice to see Okay, next game then is a game called Broforce, which is 75% off and again ends on the 4th, so a couple of days' time. Um, this is a fun little run and gun, a retro inspired run and gun. But the, the interesting quirk with this is that every time you die, you start as a new, you know, action man type oh, nice. character, but they're based on movie characters or, okay. or, or um, actors, so you'd have like a Rambo esque yeah. character or a Terminator type character. It's just a lot of fun and it's a multiplayer game as well. When you play as Rambo, are you like a really old guy with a load of plastic surgery? No, I think this is um, <laughs> the original type Rambo as opposed to modern day Rambo. But you, um, you know, each one has their own different weapons, yeah. and it's not just an aesthetic thing. Some might be longer range or okay. more powerful. You know, it's just a fun little game um, for that price for sure. It looks a lot of fun. It's giving me a bit of um, was it Action Squad that just came out? Mm -hmm. A bit of Action Squad vibe. I think you can play co-op on it as well. Yeah, I played this one on the um, the PlayStation. I think it was one of their 
their free games. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, at one point, PlayStation Plus games. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth playing. There you go. Three dollars seventy four ends on the fourth. Mm -hmm. Nice one. Okay, so my next pick then is maybe a less popular one, I don't know, but it's the Lego Harry Potter collection. Now my daughter's been playing through, I think it was the Lego Jurassic World Jurassic game. Jurassic World, yeah. Yeah, and she absolutely loves them, but they can be a little bit pricey to be honest. So here you've got the years one, two, four, and then five to seven. Yes, so it, it was released originally as two separate games. You okay. had years one to four, and then years five to seven. This is the collection of those two games right. uh, together. So these are older games um, that have been ported over to the uh, to the Switch and the other current gen uh, consoles. So they do have, or I should say, they don't have maybe some of the newer mechanics you find right, in Lego okay. games, but they're still very fun experiences. You still have that addictive. Definitely. Sense of wanting to pick everything up and find everything. And for that, again, for that price, it's, yeah. it's well worth it. Well worth it. So it's 70% off. So that sale doesn't end till about Wednesday. $15. That's mm. absolute peanuts. One caveat I will say with Lego games is just always have a look at a physical price first because there they're, they're stupidly expensive on the eShop, yeah. but they drop dramatically in price in, in uh, shops. Okay. I don't think one is, uh, I don't think this one, sorry, is that cheap in shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I picked it up for about. 18 quid, I yeah. think. So it's probably about 20 odd dollars in the shops. But just have a look. Just Do you like Quidditch? I've never played it. I've never played it. I've got some, my broomstick's broken. <laughs> 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 okay, our next recommendation then, this one ends on the fifth, so a little bit longer to go, mm -hmm. um, is Axiom Verge, which is a Metroidvania, again with a, a retro art style. Um, but this is a, a fantastically crafted game. Mm. Um, so it's 60% off, it's about $8 at the minute. I played this, I bought this, uh, the physical version. There is a, a physical collector's edition available. Oh, nice. It's, it's, it sounds better than it is actually. It's quite a cheaply made one, which is unfortunate. But the game itself is, is brilliant. Um, it follows your, your standard Metroidvania tropes of, you know, you can't go in that room until you find this weapon. Okay. But it's very, very well done. And for that price again, I'd highly recommend it. Bargain at 60% off. Definitely. Okay, so the next title is one that we both know is really popular. It's called The Messenger. And it was a really interesting game because halfway through it kind of shifted completely. It opens right up. It feels almost like it's about to end and then it just, the world just opens up and it oh, becomes okay. a Metroidvania. So basically, you've got a shifting mechanic where you can go from 8-bit to 16-bit to solve certain problems That's and cool. puzzles. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it really does open up. It's a bit inspired, I think, by Ninja Gaiden. The the 2D um, sections that I played, because I have not played much of this at all. Yeah. You reviewed this one for us, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And the the 2D uh, sections very much so, I would say, yeah. Yes, I'm learning, <laughs> I'm <laughs> learning. Yeah. So yeah, very good game. Quite tricky, and you can. I've been stuck on it for quite some time in just one little area. But it's a very good game. And for the price that it is, I think it's about 40% off. It's well worth having a look at it. Uh, this sale ends on the 4th. I was just going to say, sorry, I said 2D, I didn't mean 2D, I meant platforming sections, because it becomes a Metroidvania, uh, doesn't it? Ah, yes. So the platforming sections are very much like Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Okay, the next one then uh, is the Friday the 13th mm -hmm. the video game that came out a few months back. Now, when I reviewed this, I gave it a kind of a middling 60 or high 60-ish mm -hmm. score, which I don't think maybe represents how much fun I had with the game. Yeah. It was just too expensive. Um, you know, a couple of other little flaws. But at 50% off as it is at the minute for another few days, I think it was the fourth it ends, definitely worth that price. As far as I know at the minute, I played it about a month ago and the online was still relatively strong. You could still get a full match going. Mm -hmm. So as long as that stays the case, then at that price, it's very much worth it. Yeah, it seems, it's interesting, isn't it? It's such a big drop in price. Mm -hmm. And the main thing with this game, like Glenn said, is the community. And you know that as soon as a 50% price drop, you're going to get a load of new Absolutely. players. Absolutely. And the thing is with this as well, although it's not 
great. It does have a single player mode. Yeah. Um, a couple is a challenge mode as well. So there is some content there if you can't find a match, but it's all about the online. It's all about the online. I mean, there's another game called Dead by Daylight on the Switch, mm -hmm. but that doesn't have any single player options. So I think they've kind of, you know, jumped the shark a bit there. This is, I would say, the way to go out of the two. And this one ends on the? The fourth, I believe it was. Okay, my next pick then is Team Sonic Racing from Sega, obviously. Now, we always say, aren't we, there's so many kart races on the Switch. Mm. There's just so many kart races in general that are so generic and formulaic, it's just boring. This game at least tried something new. So you have a team of racers that work cooperatively and you kind of slingshot each other to gain boost. Oh, okay, right. It just works really well and, the, and playing it in multiplayer as well, it just doesn't play the same as Mario Kart. Which is what you want, isn't it? Which is something what a bit you different. want, yeah. something a bit different. The visuals are lovely as well, it's running really fluidly. For some people it's gonna be a bit of an issue that it doesn't have 60 frames per second, but honestly, it's very responsive. I haven't played this one. Mm -hmm. um, I played their previous racer, which was, okay. um, what was it called? Uh, Sonic All-Stars Transform something something. Yeah. Um, but I really liked that one, and it's a shame that they did change it for me at least on this mm. one, because you had all of the different Sega franchises, and you had right. tracks based around those different franchises, some that have been long since forgotten. Yeah. Um, so it's a shame they went just with Sonic for mm -hmm. this one. But again, 50% off. That's, Can't go wrong. that's a good price, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Next up, we have Door Kickers Action Squad, which is about a third off at the moment. Now, this is only just released, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Three Co weeks ago? Definitely that. I mentioned this actually when we were talking about Broforce. It's actually a really good game. There's a bit of an RPG element to it as well, whereby you accrue a currency that you can then spend on upgrading your troops and gear. Mm. And there are lots of different unit types to try out. There's Hostage Rescue. It feels super retro. The soundtrack's lovely. But everything's so, so tight and so well designed. There's no nonsense in here. You get in, try and clear the building and kill everyone and rescue the hostages in a certain time. There's a bit of a speed running element potentially here as well. I think it's a really good game. And I'm, I was a bit gutted we couldn't review it when it came out. Mm. So for a third off, I'd say this is one to snap up. It's quite, in some respects, it reminds me of uh, Hotline Miami. Okay. But from, from a side on view rather than a top down. Yeah. In that you have to kind of get in, eliminate certain people, and you have, it's almost like a puzzle game in some respects, isn't it? You know it I mean? very much is, yeah. actually. Yeah, it very much is. And as you accrue XP during a stage, you can spend that on like med packs and things like yeah, this. Yeah. It's very good. Okay, next pick then uh, is a game called Volga the Viking, which is an unbelievably hard platformer, isn't it? It's quite uh, unique in some respects in that you have quite a big sprite. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a bit of Altered Beast in that yeah. sense. Do you know what I mean? Um, everything kills you. There's only one checkpoint in the whole level. So if you're easily frustrated, this is not a game for you. Yeah. But that sense of achievement when you you do it is is massive. Mm -hmm. It's 70% off at the minute. Um, about two dollars ninety nine, wasn't it? For another couple of days. If you've got the stomach for it, this is one to uh, to test your wits on. I think. Yeah, I think for this price, it is worth giving it a shot, even if you're not 100% sure. <laughs> First avoid for me then is a game called Vegas Party. Now I bought this game physically um, because I really liked back in the day a casino game called Vegas Stakes on the Super Nintendo. Okay. You had your slot machines on there, you could play poker, it was just a fun game, you know? Yeah. This is nothing like that. <laughs> this is horrific. It's, it's 99 cents on there at the minute, but don't be tempted, it's terrible. It's a collection of mini games. One saving grace are things like darts is quite fun when you're using the gyro uh, controls okay. to get the shot right. Do you like gyro controls? You do like gyro controls, but would you like them yeah. if you couldn't turn them off, right, and you were trying to move the cursor with the stick whilst the gyro was moving it the other direction? That would hurt my feelings. It's ridiculous. I, I don't know what they were thinking. If there's a way of turning it off, for my own sanity, please do find it and tell there me. There is a way. 
Don't buy the game. The, yeah, do that one. Just do that. <laughs> it's a terrible game, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm going to say one that's a bit controversial, and it's not a bad game in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it's a very good series of games, mm -hmm. but the price here isn't worth it at all. You've got the Siberia games at the moment, which originally were $20 each. I've, on other platforms, I've picked those up for two or three quid. Pound, yeah. Like nothing. And, and for me, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a P-take to do a 50% off mm. and it's still $10 or $9, $9. I would say no. If you've got a tablet in any shape or form, you can get them much cheaper over there. But again, they're physical, you know, they're available yeah. physically. You can get all three games separately. You can buy a double pack of one and two and they're releasing a treble pack, or triple pack, sorry, for the free games and they're, they're plummeting price. Yeah. You can pick them up so cheap, you know. Save your cash -ish. Yeah. All right, my next... Absolute avoid is Beast Quest. I had, a, I had an email from them saying this game is the next best thing since Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> you need to review it. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> Man. This isn't Zelda's retired granddad. <laughs> uh, this is. I thought, uh, look, I got nothing against any game that tries to do a bit of Zelda or anything like that. That's great. That's fantastic. And this is based on a, a very popular series of novels mm. that supposedly are fantastic. If you watched our stream recently, you'll know that the game isn't quite up to par, no, is it? No. The mechanics are so clunky. It's one of those games where it feels like everything's working against you. Mm. The first 10 quests were fetch quests. Like, no joke. Mm. The first 10, it was like, oh, I've lost all my carrots. Can you go and get me some? I don't want to collect your carrots. I don't want to pay money to collect your carrots. <laughs> no, this is an absolute avoid. It's also quite Ugh. telling that it's been out for two weeks. And it's already, what, 90% off? 90% off. off. Wow. I don't think they sold a single copy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, but this is terrible. Avoid at all costs. Right, next Avoid, then. A game that, again, has come out fairly recently, mm -hmm. next month, uh, in the past month or so. It's a game called Stellatum, um, which is a shooter, top-down, horizontal shooter, but it has momentum or inertia-based controls like you would find in a game like Asteroids. And it just doesn't work at all. I applaud the developer. It's sometimes you, who are a developer that do try and do, the, you know, they, they, all of their games are very different. They do try. I'll fair play to them, but they've really missed the mark on this one. <laughs> it's 30% off, so it's still over $10. It's not worth it, I'm afraid. So I don't like saying that, but it's not. In no. this case, it's not a good game. This is, everything just felt so heavy on it. It looked like if it was all snappy and tight, it would have been great. Yeah. But yeah. So, like I say, in, in Asteroids, for example, you know, you, you kind of you move and then you're flying mm -hmm. towards the asteroids and you have to try and avoid them while shooting them. In this, you're trying to do that while everything is shooting yeah. you and it just doesn't work. You need those tight controls. It's very frustrating. Yeah, it was really very frustrating. Good. So this is a definite avoid for me and it is Bullet Battle Evolution. Now we've got this thing where if we, requ if we request a code and we don't hear anything back at all, that's like the first alarm bell. Mm -hmm. These guys were like silent. And then it released in Japan, and they were still. So I was like, "What's going on?" Because it's you know it's about to come out. So I bought it from J Japan, and I actually spent a few nights playing against the Japanese. It's so bad. Like honestly, everything you know about a cover shooter, or about a tactical squad-based game, it's two squads against each other. It's horrible. The collision models don't work. The performance is janky as anything. But the trailer and the visuals on the eShop look incredible. I can yeah. guarantee there'll be some people that just look at that and go, $10, 30% off, yes please, mm. <laughs> sign me up. Don't sign me up. Go and watch the review. The link will be down in the, um, the top comment. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the uh, Sparklight box set then. I don't really want to show the front of it because it's green and it disappears. <laughs> I'll show the back of it. There it is. Hopefully you can still see that. Um, we're gonna look through some of the tweets and then we'll just decide who has won? All right, so we have just trawled through about a hundred entries into yep. the uh, giveaway, haven't we? Mm. There's some really nice ones, There's aren't some there? Lovely ones, yeah. Not just, I mean, we were looking at kind of layout, yep. composition, you know, what was said about the game mm -hmm. as well. There were some lovely ones on there. We had things all the way from the, you know, the Master System, yep. uh, the Super Famicom, some collections mm -hmm. of games as well. But we have chosen a winner, haven't, haven't we? Indeed, we have. So we are going to go for the one and only Megorium. Mm. She laid out her Hollow Knight, was it? Hollow Knight, yeah. Yeah, just laid it out really nicely. It, yeah, good description in there. Yeah, so, yeah, so exactly right. So it was the Hollow Knight Collector's Edition, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't so much the game. We said that at the time, yeah. we weren't going to favour a game. 
it was the composition of yeah. how it was laid out and the description was really good. So yeah, that's our winner. Congratulations. Well done, Meg, yeah. we'll uh, ping us an email and we'll sort you out with the physical copy mm. if Royal Mail get their act together. <laughs> nice one. So that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed. We're trying to tweak the format, format as much as possible to get really engage in as many people mm. as possible as well you know mm -hmm. yeah exactly right so if you have any suggestions let us know in the comments and uh we'll take them into consideration for next time for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya <laughs>